what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're gonna be talking about the until dawn movie in this video here again today based on that iconic game that came out what nine years ago at this point but i do want to put out this warning at the front of this video so if this triggers you i apologize but yes these are some very interesting details that <laughs> i i don't doubt are going to end up being true i think they're going to end up being very true just because of some of the evidence that's out there so i want to go over the cast that we have so deadline put out this report last june to give us an update on the until dawn game scream gems and playstation productions feature adaptation of the playstation game until dawn has set an ensemble cast of rising stars as ella rubin michael Cimino, jiang yu and odessa zion have been cast in the upcoming picket david f sandberg is set to direct at playstation productions we are always looking to find creative and authentic ways to adapt our beloved games that our fans will enjoy and then they go on to say alongside screen gems we've assembled a fantastic cast of new characters now i'll get back to that that builds upon our already stellar filmmaking team and their vision for the adaptation we're excited to reveal more about the movie soon the log line is under wraps but the pick is being described as an r-rated and terrifying love letter to the horror genre centering on an ensemble cast Gary Doberman wrote the latest version of the script. Blair Butler wrote the previous draft. Doberman, who has a first look deal with the studio, is producing under his coin operated banner with Mia Meniscalo. And yeah, yeah, it says the hit horror video game follows eight friends who are trapped together on a remote mountain retreat and discover they are not alone. Gripped by dread with tensions running high, they must fight through their fear if they are all hoping to make it through the night in one piece. Okay. So like I said, I apologize in advance for this video being triggering <laughs> to fans of Until Dawn, but none of this is confirmed until trades or those involved with the movie reported. But like I said, nine times out of 10, this is true and I'll explain why. So Until Dawn's movie is shaping up to have nothing in common with the game outside of the title alone. Major red flag and it only gets worse as far as I'm concerned, just strap in folks. So I'm not going to expect to see Hayden Pantier back. I'm not expecting to see anyone from the original cast back in any capacity. I mean, we already had the cast announced, but I'm not even expecting any cameo appearances from people who were part of that iconic game. Here are some of the rumored plot details. New characters. Remember, they said new characters. <laughs> so I guess they meant it. New characters include people named. Now, these could be code names. You have Clover, Melanie, Max and Megan. Clover and Melanie are siblings. Their mom passed away, and this has caused Clover to become a bit of a homebody. So much so that Melanie, Melanie hates what their mother's death has done to Clover. She thinks Clover is too afraid of death to live. Melanie is going to college in New York to start a new life, and Max is Clover's boyfriend who always comes over so they can watch movies together. Clover obviously seems to be the main character, and the story will be about her being brave about the concept of death and coming to terms with this. So that way she can get over her mother's death. And as of now, Until Dawn may not even have Wendigos in the story. The conflict in this movie seems to be characters being stuck in this death loop where they have a certain amount of times they can die before they are dead for good. This sounds similar to Happy Death Day, honestly, because it does. I was told they are being chased by a serial killer and demons. And every time they die, it starts over. Now why this is happening ties back to clover she's the source of these shenanigans they have to figure out how to make this stop before dawn now see i thought that this was bs until i found this david sandberg had already confirmed we will get new characters not only that of course we have that trade report from deadline that i just went over at the start of the video he went over that we will be getting new characters in a comment he made over a month ago at this point on ig then look at this post from the Until Dawn subreddit that was posted over two months ago. So once I read this, I went, hold up. There's probably some weight to what I've heard since it sounds fairly similar to this Reddit post that I didn't even know about. And the details that I just went over with the characters and the story seems to add further context to this Reddit post. So this Until Dawn movie is shaping up to be something that I don't even want to say I look forward to anymore. It could end up being a very good movie, but I just don't see why we're doing this. I don't see it. I don't even see why it has to be called Until Dawn. 
It could have been something that is very true to the game. And yes, you could argue, oh, well, we already know the twists and turns. My argument to that is this. It's all about, again, did you make a quality movie that is in line with the experience I had while playing the game? What is wrong with making a movie that might be just exactly as the game while adding in a few twists and turns? You didn't even need to bring back the original cast. I understand that they are older. Everyone understands that. Anyone with some sense does anyway. You could have just given us the same story, new cast playing the same characters, and then we could have had a quality film that lives up to what that gaming experience is like. It all comes down to what was the execution like. I can't get behind calling your movie Until Dawn and it seems to have fairly little in common with the actual game that is so iconic and I know a lot of people go crazy over because it, it is such a good game. It really is. The first time I played that game, I remember just thinking, I need to play that again. I played it about five times at this point, I would I would say off the top of my head. I haven't played it as, as much as many of you probably listening to it. But these rumored plot details I really thought were BS until I started scavenging online to kind of give myself some reason to start talking about this. And it seems that when I discovered this Reddit post that again was posted from two months ago, all I've done is now expanded upon what this person was talking about. I think in that post, they also mentioned they don't even think we're going to have a cabin setting. Uh, this is this sounds like it's going to be a very bland adaptation of a very iconic game. And I, I'm not going to say the movie could be bad because it could be it could be good. It could end up being the best movie ever. Or I guess I should say I don't want to say the movie will be bad because, of course, it could be trash. It could be one of the worst things ever. But we'll have to see how they execute it all. But I'm certain these plot details are not exciting anyone. And the fact that they are stuck in this death loop. And I think that Reddit post did, however, say that correlates to how they're trying to implement the butterfly effect. We'll just have to wait and see what comes of this. And if anything of this ends up being true, like I said before, it's hard to think that this is not true. When I stumbled across a Reddit post that I now basically have given more context on. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to the Until Dawn game now? Why or why not? Let me know all of that down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.